Hello gamers, geeks and gays, welcome back to the Outer Wilds. This episode nearly didn't happen because I was having massive tech issues. I believe I've fixed them, but we will see. Um, I've had some issues with the camera, it, it kept disconnecting and such, um, so that's why the episode wasn't out yesterday like I was planning on it being. That's why it's out today. But today's episode is hopefully going to be a little bit more positive. We're going back to exploring. Um, I really want to try and get to the Southern Observatory on the Brittle Hollow, so I think that's where we're going to be going today. I don't know how we're going to get there, right? I, I think, if I remember correctly, there's like one of those kind of like gravity chute elevator things near Rebec that we can use to get that way as long as it doesn't all collapse. So we'll go do that first, and failing that, we will adapt and we'll move on from there. Right? Sound good to you guys? Hopefully it does. I hope so. Thanks to all the love and the support there, by the way, guys. Um, recently, the channel has just completely taken off again. Like, it's like a second, uh, you know, like a second wave of people are joining, which is fantastic. Hello, everyone, especially if you're relatively new here. The In Memoriam episode has done fantastic. Um, in two days, it overtook stuff that's been out for like two weeks. Which is absolutely incredible. You guys are just showing so much desire for more of this content. Um, and I've also seen people on the subreddit starting talking about this series as well, which is really nice. Um, if you're not part of the Outer Wilds subreddit, go check it out. It's fantastic. There's a lot of really like-minded people there. Um, and I've seen people actually start kind of recommending this series over there, which is wild. It's wild to me. It's, it's It feels wrong. You know, usually I'm the one going, Hi, I'm making things. Would you want to try check it out? And now I don't have to. You guys are doing it for me. And that's a real nice feeling. So, what were we doing? I had a plan, didn't I? Brill Hollow. That was a plan. We're going to go to the hollow. And we are going to see what we can do about getting to that Southern Observatory. So I'm still really anxious about finishing this game. I don't know how long we have left. It can't be that long. It can't be it can't be that long. And we have the DLC to do, which I am gonna be doing. I don't know how we start the DLC, I'll be honest. We'll, we'll get around to that when we get there, I guess. Um But the paralysis I am feeling regarding completing this game is haunting me on a pretty much daily basis. I don't want this to end, but I know it has to. I, I know it does, and I know that's okay that it's going to at some point, you know? Um, I've accepted that that's just how things are. And speaking of how things are, I am lie are lost. Where's the... Uh, I was expecting to see... Rubik's campfire. Oh wait, here it is. Here it is. Oh, I was so close. If I literally just get playing for another second, I could have gotten away with that and not looked like I was completely and utterly um, lost and not having a clue what I'm doing. Here we go. So yeah, I'm scared of finishing this game. Um, I, I don't want this adventure to end. And it's, it's not that the adventure is going to complete the end. We need to try and 100% this to some extent. Um, I don't know if I'll do that live on the server, well, not on the server, on the YouTube, um, or if it's something I'll kind of do privately. I'll probably do it on the YouTube if we are doing a hunting, because um, I want you guys to be able to kind of be there for the, the whole journey. I want this to be a 100% journey that you guys can join in on. That's kind of what I want. I want you guys to be with me emotionally the whole way through. And I just, I don't want this to end. I don't want you guys to go. I don't want any of this to stop. And I am going to stop rambling now because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep rambling otherwise. Right, we need to find. There was a thing. Gravity crystal workshop. Gravity crystal workshop. All oh, right, that was up that way. Okay. Um. I swear that was hanging city. Oh wait, I need to go down. I remember now. Ah, it's down here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, we could so easily fall down there. Right, where was I? Tower of Quantum Knowledge. This is where we need to go. Okay, they both... They both go this way. Which is interesting. We have two separate ways to get there. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. No, this isn't what I wanted. I want to go to the Southern Observatory. Or is it from here we can get to the Southern Observatory? The Crossroads. No, it must be from the Crossroads that we get there. Gosh darn it. Right, we're here again and I still have no idea how I'm going to get there. Like, I can't stress enough how stressful it is for me that I can't seem to get into that tower yet. And I'm missing something. I know I am. I just don't know what. Right, where is this? Do I just have to fly there? That feels like a real kind of cheaty way of doing it. Do I maybe have to do it from the... Perhaps I have to do it from the gravity cannon. Because I have, I'm pretty sure I've seen a sign from there. I've seen a sign somewhere for it. Either that or I am just real wishful thinking and I've dreamt it. So I need to be going south, right? The gravity cannon is along the equator, but that is it's a little bit more south looking, right? Where am I going? What's up here? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. No, we have been here. I, I recognize this. I've been here before. Is there a way south? Southern Observatory, where are you? There isn't any kind of crystal path over there. Which is real funky dory for me. There is... That. There's some kind of... Okay. There are some kind of, like, gravity shoots over there. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. That's just... I came up with the name on the spot a minute ago. Um, and that's what I'm going to keep referring to them as. But there are some of those kind of elevators over yonder. So we will go this way. Ah! Right, no. I do remember. I think the last time we tried this, they, they were, like, unaligned or something weird. Alright, how do I... How do I get there? Do I go up? How do I... Ooh, 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 this way, this way, this gotta be it, right? Southern Observatory, cool. It is literally signposted. It's literally signposted. How could I miss it? Oh my god. It's taking us. Um, oh, okay, I did not like that. That was not an enjoyable experience. <laughs> I'm having to, like, manually align myself. I am running out of oxygen, though, so I really... I hope they've got trees over there. I'm guessing they will. Most of these know my buildings that are kind of self-enclosed tend to have their own thing. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Did I do it? Did I make it? <gasps> right, gravity wall, gravity wall. <laughs> we made it. Oh dear God. Oh, no. Oh please, no. For the love of all things.
vaguely frustrating. Just vaguely. I'll get over it. We'll, we'll go back. I am thinking maybe I just kind of cheat the system and fly up into it. But that's not in the spirit of everything we've achieved so far, so I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is try to get back to the Brittle Hollow ASAP. Okay, let's get back up. Oh, just in time. Right, where are we in relation to everything else? I need some fuel. And then we need to find our way back. So the ship's over yonder. I might use the ship to get back to the gravity cannon. In fact, I know that's exactly what I'm going to do, I think. If I don't smash myself onto something. I... 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 I wasn't necessarily angry that I fell, but I was... I was leaning that way. Which is odd for this game. It is a little bit odd for me to feel that kind of genuine frustration. <laughs> we need to do this. Right, where am I going? Where are we going? I need to get to the observatory, and I'm hoping the observatory might have some kind of way to tell me how to get into the Tower of Knowledge, because I really, really want to get into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go all the way to the observatory, not the observatory, the grav cannon, but what I am going to do is I'm going to park the ship right here. Right? Cool. That works. And then this way, we're just about there. And I'm going to hope I don't mess it up again. Because otherwise, I'm going to cry. Oh, that was close. That was. I've never felt anxiety like that before, doing puzzles doing jumping puzzles. I'm not very good at parkour, and I never have been in any kind of game, right? Games like this stress me out. I am not good at the parkour. Right, come on. Surely this has got to be high enough. Right? Surely. Yes, okay, I don't mind that I smashed my face. I made it. Come on. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Nearly there. So it tells me I go here first. Okay. Right. How high can I jump? Not high enough for that. That's okay. But that's... I feel like I can make that. Yep, yeah, I can make it. Cool. Oh. Is there anything law looking down here? I don't want to miss any law. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, there's a lot of law down here. Um, I'm going to go this way first. We'll go this way first. This this almost looks like a separate way in. Right, this looks like a different way in. And that is okay. So we'll jump back over here. Okay, cool made it and then up here okay okay everyone breathe everyone breathe nothing here to read okay I haven't heard this sound trap before. Giant steep rejection stone. This is where that was taking me. Okay. But I can... What is with the soundtrack? What is this? 
I'm confused. I've never heard this theme before. Conoy, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components to orbit for assembly and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Casper convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? Connor, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current. Ours sank straight to the core. My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Conoy, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface of the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads. One at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, and one at the Tower of the Quantum Knowledge. Okay. What are we about to uncover? What are we about to uncover? Casabit's construction yard has been using cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbs or probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model stone while this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Casper typically tend, uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude spy, Conway, is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. It wasn't really necessary to build a model to tell me that. The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. So that's spinning clockwise. That's spinning and... Is it really that simple? That is... So all of this time, we could have accidentally got down there. We could have done this by accident. We could have done it by accident. Right, come on, I don't have much time, I need to read. I need to read. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. We know that the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. Sorry? So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? Is this why they need that 22 minutes? Are they sending out the probe? Are they sending out the probe with the aim of resetting so that they know and then changing the angle, maybe? What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star, our system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star's system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atoll Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Casper, how can you suggest that the eye signal called out to summon us to this star system? I'm aware I grew up hearing the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived. That's... Interesting. Oh, 
I can see the different planets. So then we've got the Bramble. Oh my god. How do they know where the eye is? They know what they know what they know where they know. They know where the eye is. They can. How? Or is that just that's where it could be? We need to go to the quantum moon first. But I don't know how. I don't, I don't, I have no idea how. My god. I feel, I feel like I'm gonna cry and I don't know why, like I just feel overwhelmed with stuff. Could be it's out it's out there. We are so close. Yet we're so so far. What's this saying? Unable to determine orbits, no signal detected, matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Okay, so they don't know its orbit, but they know its range. This is How do we get to the quantum moon? We've got some... Okay, so the main avenues we've got to explore now. We've got the quantum moon. We've got the... Ash twin that we can warp inside because we found that out. And we've got... Giant's Deep. Giant's Deep and then the, 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 the Bramble. So we've got like four avenues. And then we've got, you know... Um, whatever it was that was around Timber Hearth, but I'm not going to look into that yet because that's DLC related. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. They... They... Oh. So the eye is orbiting here somewhere. It's it's part of this system. But we don't know where. So I, I right. Hypothesis is the gnome I would say. Hypothesis. The 22 minute interval is designed so that they can fire a probe, cover that distance. Find if it's there and then reset. But they would have to know then that the sun was going to implode. And to that end, that means. No. Hold on a minute, Nova. I've got. I've, I'm having. I'm having a think. If they originally, obviously, the, the the plan would be there would be many Nomai, many Nomai using the masks to research to do this. I don't know if there was particular Nomai they had in mind. I don't know if there were particular members of the research team that they needed to do this. There are three masks active. What if someone survived? But how could they survive? How could they survive that long? Ghost matter evaporates over time. 
and we know that the ghost master incident happened before we had evolved to you know to set foot on land we were still in the water that's probably how we survived i think ghost master doesn't like water because we haven't seen it anywhere in water we didn't get wiped out so it must be that it doesn't like water but it evaporates over time so you know there would have been it would have covered everywhere and as you, as you can see it is not everywhere not anymore so an unfathomably large period of time has passed since then. So how could one survive? I don't know how long Nomad live. But they're getting a signal. They're getting a signal. They get the signal from the Ash Twin saying fire, right? Because we've, we found that, that the probe is receiving a signal telling it to fire at the beginning of every loop the first thing that happens is that cannon fires there's one left I don't know why I'm crying one survive who who survived how I'm lost for words I knew it was going to be important getting into the observatory but I just feel like I had my brain blown open filled with ideas my god I never want this journey to end I never want this journey to end but for today that's all I have time for thank you guys so much for watching thank you for the love thank you for the support thank you for joining me on the journey so far. It means a lot. As always, I have been Sturx. You, you've been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part of this little adventure.